Hey, hey, besties, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? I pray all is well in your world. In today's video, we are cleaning, organizing, restocking the whole first floor, except the bathroom. We are also turning Nina's old room into my office. Nope, scratch that, my studio. It's an all-purpose room, office, hair, crafts, you name it. I would like to thank you for clicking on today's video and over here, I seek to motivate, encourage, and inspire one video at a time. If this is something you can get with, hit that subscribe, smash that like, and comment if you're new. Let's chat. For my returning besties, welcome back. And you are in for a treat. Stick around. This video is full. Go get your laundry, your snacks, and get ready for it. Thank you, and I love you. Now, you know what it is, and you know what we do. Let's get it. I don't know how, or oh how you do it. You blow my mind without a word. Oh, stuck upside down. I might be dreaming. There's no way back now. Take every inch of my body. With you all night long Dive in, babe, you know we can't stop this Come on and show me what you got Cause With you all night long Dive in, babe, you know we can't stop this Come on and show me what you got Cause I don't care If they think we're mad to be falling in love With you I'll do it again I just realized I was having all these issues with my coffee maker And I forgot that my Keurig container was on wheels so all I have to do is push that down to pull it back and forth so that I could store it underneath my cabinet wow it took me forever to figure this out that is so sad I've been trying to figure this out where could I put my coffee maker to make it so that I could use it wherever I wanted and all I needed to do was pay attention to the way the drawer was made
goes by and yet I wonder Are you and me still the same? Are you still loving the game? I know I don't You cast your spell and I went under I know the laughter and the pain Will I ever love again? I don't know if I again take it anymore
sequence, trying not to see it Need some bliss in the turbulence I'm praying on the weekdays, drowning in the weekends All the shallow, shallow friends are mine I got the champagne dripping from inside my spine oh, Credit cards to buy my time You know I never listen it's not too late for you to let it go to my beat Rhythm makes me complete, strip me down to my bones Too long, facing down the car Good morning besties, how are y'all feeling? Y'all feeling good? I hope all is well in your world Yes, I am talking to the camera today I just felt like it because, you know, I got my coffee and I'm doing well Things are are looking up i hope you're enjoying the video so far i hope you're having a good time i hope you got up and cleaned something or did something i don't know what you're doing while you're watching this i mean what you if you're snacking on something let me know down in the comments what you're snacking on or what you're drinking or what you're doing you know while you're at this point and at this time in the video and just let me know what's going on um just wanted to check in see how everybody was feeling I got my coffee because it, it is now 6 30 in the morning as you can see I have already made their lunches there two of them are up because it's time for them to be up and then the other two I will wake up before I leave to take Jada to school um and that's it when I get back I will tackle the dishes from yesterday because your girl was a little lazy. She just wasn't in the mood to do dishes. And it is okay. It is perfectly okay to go to bed with dishes in your sink. Yes, I know that has been drilled into our heads that your kitchen should be clean before you go to bed. Your house should not be this, that, and the other, and the third. I get it. Because I was the same way. I... I wouldn't go to bed till 1, 2 o'clock in the morning because I had to close down my kitchen. I don't close down my kitchen every night because I'm just tired. I take my husband to work and then I come home. I handle all of whatever else I have to do. I get the kids, take care of that, dinner, whatever, after whatever evening activities we have. And then it's like, I need a nap. So dishes may not get done. I at least get them into the sink, but they may not get done. So, it is okay to not clean your kitchen before you go to bed. It's perfectly okay. And who cares what anybody else has to say because it's your house. So, if you don't want to clean the dishes, you don't clean the dishes. <laughs> you know, because I'm like, I'm busy. I have a lot to do. I just realized I have a lot to do. But I also have five people five kids still in the house so yeah thank you everybody for all of your well wishes and congratulations to nina and ethan and um for all of that good stuff so be looking out that's coming up real fast um, i just realized i'm like oh my god that's like two and a half weeks away it's not even that far away <laughs> I think we still have so much to get done. We still have to go dress shopping and all that good stuff. So, be looking out for that. And I have to cook. Because remember, we're on a budget. We are living our tuna fish lifestyle. I'm sorry. We are living our caviar lifestyle on a tuna fish budget. I'm telling you, it's, it, the struggle is real. And for all y'all that know, you know. So, enjoy the rest of the video. And I will catch y'all later. Like when machines rip me down to my bones. Haven't had a pause yet. Maxing out my mistakes. All my dreams might be made of gold. Dizzy on the Sunday. Knocked out on the Mondays. All the shallow, shallow friends are mine. I got the champagne dripping from inside my spine No credit cards to buy my time You know I never listen It's not too late for you to let it go to my beat Rhythm makes me complete, strip me down to my bed 
Does anyone else do this while they're moving? Especially when you're moving your furniture around and you know you haven't done it for a while. You vacuum in the spaces or you mop the floor in those spaces where you just move the furniture. Does anyone else do that? Let me know down in the comments. One of my besties sent me this. She said I should try putting sloppy joe on top of garlic bread. It was pretty like good. Sloppy joe. But I definitely did lose all the feeling in my taste. Buds. Do with it. 
it He comes around, better not touch the down Come a little bit closer Yeah, yeah Come a little bit closer Yeah To all my ladies who got a brother That doesn't treat them right now, right here, I need to get me um, a book bag slash coat slash shoe rack with something that won't obstruct this because this is going up and down the steps and everything I put there just doesn't work. And this is my sanitation station. This is where all of our COVID tests are, hand sanitizers, napkins, face masks, the cloth and not those bags on the bottom are all our church bags because you know we got to have bags to go to church if you know what i'm talking about let me know down in the comments do you carry a bag to church or you just use your phone yeah i can finally start over yeah so all my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right put your finger right in his face and tell that man Ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right Put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye-bye I'm too fly I'm too fly Bye-bye, oh, bye-bye How y'all feeling? Y'all feeling good? I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you're vibing with the music. I hope you got up and cleaned something, did something. I pray that you got some type of motivation, encouragement, upliftment, something out of this video. I'm not sure what it was you might have been looking for when you clicked on today's video, but I hope that you got it today. And I hope that to pray and appreciate each and every one of you for all of my returning besties. Love you. If you are new, please click that subscribe button because your girl needs subscribers. Your girl is trying to make it to a thousand by Christmas. I'm just saying. I got goals. I got plans. And I need y'all to help me to do this. So, if you know somebody that might need some extra motivation that doesn't mind real life, not that cookie cutter, bright, whatever that is, Real life, real life, like your girl lives in the hood for real, real life. If your friends are down for that, if you need some motivation, if you feel that you're in the same situation and you're just looking for some encouragement and don't think that you could have the things that you see other people have and then you're like, well, take a look at my life. Nope, I don't have the flyest. No, I don't have the greatest, but what I do have I am grateful for and I make it work. Like I always say, we are trying to live a caviar lifestyle on a tuna fish budget. And as you can see, my children are happy and healthy. I'm happy. My family is happy. We're good. So go on and click that subscribe button. Make sure you tell your friends, share this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, my Jada always with her gang gang signs. Lord Jesus, help me with that child. Anyway, back to the video.
wondering what's the deal with all the biohazard containers. I am a diabetic, so I do test my blood sugars. I also take um, an insulin injection once a week as medication to help bring down my A1C. Um, so I need to have that for all of the needles and things so that I'm not out there in the world floating around in the trash. You know, I don't do that. I, I, I do take care of myself. So here is the finished office. Please enjoy the reveal. I do have to say that that table where all of my hair stuff is, my husband made that when he was taking um, construction, I think it was. He had gone back to school after he'd done welding because he does have an associate's degree in welding. Yes, this is a skincare refrigerator that I put pop in. I do not put skincare in there. There is pop in there. <laughs> But yes, the table was made by my husband and a couple of people that he went to school with. Um, they did not, um, they all signed the table. So that's why it looks like this. We've had that table for close to, I want to say 10 years. That table is about 10 years old. So yeah, and it's lasted quite a long time and I will never get rid of that table. Alright, y'all know what time it is. It's time to go get that laundry. Get that load that's sitting there looking at you. Because I know the whole time you've been watching this video, you ain't folding out a single stitch of laundry. I know you didn't because you just didn't want to. It's okay. It is okay. But now it's time to go and get that load. And let's get it folded. And on top of this, we are going to slow it down. Because we are headed towards the end of the video. And at the end of this video is the sub prize proposal you guys are going to love it when you see it i'm hoping and praying that you're enjoying this video up to this point let me know down in the comments did you enjoy it what part did you enjoy if there was a part that you did enjoy if it was helpful did it help you to get through i know it's a long video but your girl had to put everything in it and this is a week's worth of stuff i had three rooms and i had life to do so I hope and pray that you got something out of it. I hope you enjoyed every stitch of it. And I'm glad that you're here. And I am proud of you. If no one has told you, I am. And if no one's told you, I love you. And I will catch y'all in the next one. I'm sorry y'all I had to chime in one more time um if you ever want to figure out the best way to maintain your bacon or to get more out of your bacon cut it in half especially if you buy the thick cut bacon I love to take it and cut it in half and I get at least two servings out of it 
sometimes three depending on how much of it I actually use on this day I had to use all of it but if you cut it in half it just gives you more bacon and it does stay in a nice way and if you bake it in the oven it doesn't shrivel up so you don't lose as much of your bacon when you cook it So, Jay, like, hey, every Sunday, I'm like, when, when you get grown up, you're only going to come back to see me when you move out for Sunday dinners. Yes, and holidays. That's it. And holidays. Every Sunday. <laughs> Even if that means you got a DoorDash, I'll be here. So, so how's your partner? The pest control. There she is. The pest control came in. Come, they okay. uh, sprayed everything. Okay. We're looking. When they sprayed our problematic area. We're looking at wedding invitations. Uh, well, oh, you ain't that. Oh, you. Uh, but, seeing roses? Uh, no, no, no. No, just, just spiders. spiders. Why are you talking about bugs? Oh. Now, well, because I asked her a question. I know, but I I'm. Like, well, okay. I'm, you seen those? You didn't see those in there. You yeah, seen the no, other thing? Yeah, I just found it. Even. What? Oh, here. I think he he right there. I really wanted to give it to you, give it to you. I know you've been patient. No, don't do this to me right now. I'm sorry for all the wait. But here's a golden rose that you can love a lot. Oh, that's cute. This is so cute. <laughs> oh, jeez. You okay? Yeah. I'm Oh, I can't. Well, I, I don't even know well, what I'm Will you marry him? Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I can't say. Uh, will yeah. you meet me at the altar on November 4th? Uh, <laughs> yay! Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's the all cover stuff. Was I want to see. That was a... Oh. Let's see the ring. That's what we were doing. That's what we were. That's what <laughs> that's the whole we doing. Is. Now, no. now, backstory behind the ring. That used to belong to your grandma, and they took it and had it um, sized and fixed so that you could wear it. Yay! If you lose it, we'll kill you. I guess. <laughs> you Very slow. You oh, no. Where's the other ring? Where's the other ring? Where's the promise ring? Okay, so we went from the promise to the actual. <laughs> Yay!
everything it takes to make you stay But I can't rely on you Doesn't matter what I do You say you need a time I think you mean a buyout Cause it's pretty clear you're on your way out And though I understand it's hard sometimes To make up your mind in these trying times, yeah I just can't accept you leaving Thank you.